when people ask me, so I'm Tony Anglioni, by the way. <laughs> nice to be here to play my music for everybody. And um, so many cool faces here. And uh, everybody, a lot of people ask me how I started playing the guitar, so I thought I would tell a quick story. Um, I was at a music store in Grandma's Park, and I love music. I listen to music all day. Didn't matter, the monkeys, whatever, Big City Rollers, everything. I'm old. And uh, so I saw this. Nobody in my family is a musician, musician, so that's why people ask me about this. I saw this guitar in this record store under the lights and it shined. It was so beautiful. It was a Gibson SG copy. It was maroon. And it was just, it was exactly like Angus Young's and Tone Aomi's. And, and I said, Mom, I really want that guitar. I said, well, and so a couple weeks later, she took me back and she got me this guitar. Wow. And, um, and I polished it and I put it in the corner. My room was full of posters and I put it in the corner and I turned on my music and it was like the ultimate rock memorabilia. It was great, you know. And my little girlfriend at the time, she would be here if she didn't live in Arizona. This is a direct quote. She says, you're such a moron. If you bought a guitar, and you're not going to learn how to play. <laughs> and I said, why did I say anything? I just, I was like, you're right. Um, so anyway, I sent away for these mail order lessons. I got a lot of music to play. I keep going. So these mail order lessons, this old school little pamphlet, they taught me how to play some chords and bar chords, you know. All of a sudden, I could play Motley Crue and Judas Priest and Sabbath. And once I learned how to do that, I mean, I was really hooked, you know. I, I played like I gave up everything else, uh, baseball and everything, you know. Uh, and just played the guitar like 12 hours a day. On the weekends, it would be 12 hours. After school, before school, I started drinking coffee just to stay up. I really became obsessed. And I got kind of good, you know. I could play like Crazy Train. And kids would go back to my parents' house at lunch. Show us how you do that, you know. My head got a little bit, you know. So, uh, and then my neighbors used to hear me through the bedroom window playing. So I had a little distortion box, a little lamp, a little, you know, feedback. And Springsteen said it best. He goes, uh, in my house growing up, it was never a Fender guitar or a Gibson guitar. It was always a goddamn guitar. <laughs> Turn down that goddamn guitar. <laughs> and that, that was my dad, Dean will tell you. Yeah, but anyway, my neighbors would hear me practicing, and one couple, a couple houses down, had an older son, and um, and he came over, and he was kind of in, he he moved away, but he was doing lighting and stuff for bands, and he came over and he said, he said, um, he said, Tony, I hear you practicing, you get pretty good. I was like, yeah, man, thanks. You know, the only one that. You know? No, I didn't say that, but I was like, yeah, thanks, man, that's cool. He goes, Tony, you should take lessons from my friend Ross. You know. I said, yeah, that's cool, you know, maybe, you know, maybe sometime, you know, when I hit a roadblock and this guy, Brett, he put his hand on my shoulder, he looked me in the eyes, he says, Tony, you should take lessons from my friend Ross. And, uh, I'm getting a little choked up because Ross is here tonight. Thank you, Ross. Good to you, Ross. So, uh, so, <laughs> so, I said, okay, my mom took me to his house. And uh, that week, you know, I gotta get it together. <laughs> but he took me to his house, and this older gentleman answered the door, and I was there with my guitar. And he goes, You're here to see Ross? I said, Yeah. And so he says, Follow me. I go, I start walking up, and he snaps him through the stairwell. I hear this music playing, you know. And it was like a cool drum beat, it was a clean, like, rhythm guitar, you know. And, and this lead, this wailing lead guitar. And it was like, I was like, what the, what the fudge is that? I was like, because it was, it was like blues, but it was modern. It had a little Van Halen, and, and, but it was happy. You know, it was a lot of major key. You could tell I'm just, I'm, I'm just in a major key all the time. And uh, it was so happy. And I was like, first thing I got to do is ask him uh, what, what band this is, because tomorrow I'm going up to Utah and I'm buying like every album they have, you know, to, to, to get into that. It was like everything I wanted, you know. 
And um, so his dad opens the door, and it's from the Ross playing the guitar. <laughs> Ross is playing. And I was like, holy oh, shit. <laughs> and I sat down, and Ross, I, I think I pretty much, everything you taught me, I learned, right? <laughs> By the next week, I knew how to play it frontwards, backwards, fast. We were playing some crazy stuff, Aldi Miola and everything. But, but really, what Ross taught me was how to express myself with the guitar. So that was. That's why I get choked up. I guess I got a lot of emotion, and he taught me how to release that. So, he really taught me how to play the guitar. <laughs> so, thanks, Ron.